Hi friends, welcome back to my studio. My name is Tammy, I'm an artist and small business owner, and today we are gonna sculpt as much as possible for my upcoming drop this Friday, October 4th. This is gonna be my biggest drop yet. I'm releasing five new designs, Pumpkin Maxine, Apple Maxine, Forger Cat, Cardigan Bunny, and Apple Bear, along with a ton of returning characters. And if you're new here, yes, this is what I do for a living. I love making hundreds of the same item, I love challenging myself, and I love that I can bring comfort to others at the same time. Because this is my biggest drop of the year, I already got a head start on sculpting. My friend came over yesterday and helped me roll out all of these balls. These will all become goldfish very soon. And while she was doing that, I was working on all of these bunny pancakes. All of this took two and a half hours, so I'm really glad we started yesterday because this is a great base to start sculpting for you guys. Before we start sculpting, I want to give a huge thanks to Universe for sponsoring this video. Universe is a drag and drop app for creating websites where you can easily pick a personalized .com domain and customize your site to match your creative vision. You can use it on your iPhone, your iPad, or your computer. And you can make any type of website with Universe from a simple link list to a full online shop, blog, or portfolio. You can start with a blank canvas, but you can also use one of their amazing templates. And I even designed a template that you can use. If you filter under landing page or link in bio, you can find the uncomfy template. And I designed it specifically for anyone wanting to sell their art. So here's what my template looks like. I made room for your logo for some personal blurbs where you're located. And my favorite part is this little eye-catching image. You can add little animated GIFs and it just makes any website pop. And like I said earlier, it's not just a link in bio site. You can actually sell things with Universe. So if you're in the US, the Universe sell block can help you start selling your creations in minutes. You can also use the download block to start selling digital items. And if you're not in the US, you can still use the PayPal block to accept payments that way. Universe is free, but if you upgrade to Pro, you can remove Universe branding, get access to even more customization options, and access the code block. You can use the first link in my description to get 25% off your first year of Universe Pro or use the second link to try Universe for free. All right, let's get sculpting. Today is Saturday. The time is currently 12.09. So I think I'm gonna sculpt for five hours today and five hours tomorrow. I think that'll be a good stretch of time to see how much I can sculpt. You guys have been requesting that these make a comeback. So I made 15 of the clay pins just to start off. And if I have the time or energy to make more, then I'll do so. But yeah, we already did the brunt work of shaping the pancakes, shading them, and adding the facial features. And now it's my favorite part, which is adding the butter and the syrup. Hello friends, it's been an hour and 20 minutes. Finally finished all of the bunny pancakes. I forgot how fun these were to make, but they're also pretty tedious, just in the manner of which like, I'm very picky about how the syrup falls. And if it's too clunky and there's not enough like dips, I get a little annoyed. But I pulled out this tester piece. She is all beat up, but I use her as a reference. And I was just realizing like how much better I've gotten at sculpting tiny things. Like this is just from last year and look how much smaller I'm able to sculpt the tiny little lines and the eyes now, which makes me feel really good because even though I'm sculpting less often nowadays, I still got it. And this is really good considering that my last clay drop was a couple months ago in July. And I haven't sculpted these specifically in like two months, so. Yeah, I'm going to put these on the baking tray now. I'm 
sitting down now because my legs hurt so much. I fell down yesterday. <laughs> I'm, I'm okay. I got a cut here and I also skinned my knee. I haven't fallen down this badly in so long. It was so embarrassing. And even just a tiny cut like this makes me realize how much I take my body and my health for granted. And yeah, I'm okay. It's just a little annoying and embarrassing. It was so embarrassing. Like people saw me fall and I was like on the floor. But anyway, we are making pumpkin goldfish and apple goldfish. For these, since it's translucent clay, I really have to make sure I clean my hands thoroughly. friends it's three o'clock this doesn't look like much but i can explain so basically i started off with like these normal balls of clay right then i had to add all the little toppings so the head the little eye bags then the facial features and then the tail fins and all the little dorsal fins so that's like five steps i did for all five of these believe it or not we are like 90 percent done with these because after i shade them with chalk pastels they look like this. So yeah, we're almost done with five Apple Maxines. We've been sculpting for exactly three hours. So I am going to stop the timer. I'm gonna take a quick break, drink some water, hydrate, and also take Winnie outside a bit because it's still sunny. I wanna like get some vitamin D. Yeah, I just, I just need a break. My eyes hurt. Okay, first outfit change of the video. It's still the same day. It's just a lot later in the day. After I took Winnie for a walk, I had to do some social media work, I had to eat lunch, and then it just turned into us just like laying on the couch for way too long. But I'm here now, I'm clocking back into work. It's 5.36. I made a little London fog, which I'm really proud of. I loved the outfit that I was wearing earlier today, but crafting in a baggy t-shirt just hits different. <laughs> On the tester, I remember being disappointed that the yellow didn't show through as much. So with these, I'm adding a lot more yellow. When shading with pastels, I always like to start with the lightest color because then if I go with too much, I can always add more of the red color in the middle to make like a nice gradient. But that'd be much harder to do if I started with the red, if that makes sense. Oh, I forgot to start my timer. The apples are done. Not gonna lie, they look a little patchy right now, but that's exactly how this one looked before I baked and glazed it. So yeah, for sculpts like these, I really bank on the translucent clay doing its magic. And yeah, I noticed this time around while I was shading with the chalk pastels, I'm a lot more loose with it. And it feels good because I don't need to be precise or exact like literally everything else in the process. This is the one part where I can be loose and just get that wash of color on and it'll be okay. I think I'm gonna move on to the pumpkin Maxines. It's 6 14 now. I think I'm gonna make five more and then that just might be the end of my work day. It's already pretty late. Even though I'm self-employed and I do like working whenever, I also like to try to keep normal working hours for myself as much as I can at least. Back when I was in college, I would do all-nighters almost every day and I'm just tired now. I know I'm only 23, but I used up so much energy when I was first starting my business. <laughs> I'm tired, I'm tired. I need to go to bed at like 10. just dawned on me that this is gonna be the last sculpting video in this apartment, which is so surreal. If you watched my last vlog, you know that I'm moving like in two weeks and I honestly didn't think that we'd be moving on from this apartment so soon. I really took my time with this apartment. Like for the first two months, we didn't have a couch. I framed all of these posters like nine months into the lease and reinstalled these curtains because I thought we'd be staying here for another year. We toured so many places and I said no to all of them because I think deep down I wasn't ready 
ready to move on from this stage in my life. I grew so much in this apartment and I think you can really tell a lot of you guys have commented. I seem a lot more confident in front of the camera. Overall, I've just grown my business immensely. Um, thanks to you guys, of course, but yeah, it's gonna be a change. I think the next vlog will be the moving vlog. I'm so excited though. I can't wait for you guys to see the new apartment. We are gonna have so much space to play around with. And yeah, now that I think more about it, this huge drop that I'm doing this Friday is almost like a big celebration. It's the end of an era, the end of my one bedroom apartment era. <laughs> Hello, it's the next day. I didn't end up sculpting any more of the pumpkin vaccines. I think I just got really fatigued and I think I'm rather solar powered. Like once it gets really dark, even if I have the most perfect studio lights, I just, I much prefer working in natural sunlight. So yeah, I didn't make any progress and I forgot to stop the timers. So I've just started a new one and we're gonna add the times together at the end of the video. I think instead of making more of the pumpkin vaccines, I'm gonna start off by making one of these like four-legged creatures. So that there's a little more variety for you guys. And then after I make a couple of these, I'll go back to mass producing the goldfish. I look for a fish that I can't seem to find. Just leaves my mind Waking with a note How could a poem hold The way I see your It's 147 and I made cardigan bunny. I think she's my favorite character in this whole lineup. She's just everything I want to be this fall. And the little tiny buttons are so fun to make. I did a little time lapse of what it actually looks like when I'm filming these videos. So I hope that was interesting to watch. We're about five and a half hours into this challenge. So far, we've made a total of 21 items. I think for this drop, I want to make around a hundred things. So we are one fifth the way through. I don't know if that's encouraging or discouraging. Let's get back to sculpting. I'll check back in with you guys and like, an hour. It's been about two hours and I finally finished these five pumpkin maxines. They are so cute. I just love their little faces so much. We only have around two and a half hours left in this challenge. I feel like usually I can sculpt more than this in 10 hours, but I'm gonna give myself grace because all of these goldfishes are all translucent clay. So it's a lot more work to shade all the pieces instead of just using colored clay. But in the end, I'm more happy with the outcome of them. So it's okay. I think I'm gonna focus on cardigan and bunnies now. Since I'm not making any more goldfish today, I think I'm just gonna transfer all of these balls to this tray. Eventually I'll get back to these and these will all be goldfish, but for now, I need to clear my space. <laughs>
Okay, you guys, I'm stopping the timer now because it's officially been more than 10 hours. In my last little sculpting sprint, I finished five more cardigan bunnies. Good morning. It's a couple days later. It's October 1st, like literally the morning that I'm going to be uploading this. I just wanted to give you guys a better look at everything I sculpted in a little more than 10 hours, maybe 12 hours. If you count the time that me and my friend were sculpting before this, I made 26 items. Whenever I sculpt a tray like this, I always like to add up the value of everything that I've made. So let's do a little bit of math. Each bunny pancake magnet will be $25. So that's 15 times 25 is 375. Each desk friend is $60 and I made 10 of them so that's 325 plus 600 each cardigan bunny will be 55 so 55 times 6 this tray is worth $1,225 it's pretty crazy pretty awesome this is what I do for a living and it's only thanks to you guys so thank you thank you so much I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys very very soon bye rusty red on her shoulder I was cleaning her shoe When it clicked on the trot over In the bright morning dew We brushed and we braided Dandelions and chews